joining us for the session. Just to reassure you that um, you won't be visible on any recording as this is in webinar format. So we just want to make sure that we record this so that it's available to anyone who can't make the meeting. We happy to give this one more minute, just so that we can see who else who else joins us. I can see people are still coming in, so. Okay, shall we make a start, I think, because we want to give people as much time as possible to ask questions, um, if they so wish. So um, welcome everyone, thank you very much um, for coming along to this latest resident engagement meeting for the Meadows and Buchan Street scheme. Uh, my name's Councillor Alex Collis, and I'm a ward councillor for Kings Hedges. Um, which is where the Buchan Street scheme um, is cited. Uh, it's been a little while since our last resident engagement meeting. So we wanted to, to hold this meeting this evening, um, as promised, to give you an update on progress of the scheme and let you know uh, where we're up to now um, and what is happening next. And the main purpose of the session is so that you can ask any questions that you might have. Um, and we have people here um, from housing at the council, from our communities team. We have people from Hill as well. So, you know, all and um, I think from the um, Cambridge Investment Partnership, is that right as well? Yes. Uh, yeah, lovely. Um, so we've got a whole range of people to answer any questions that you might have. The way this is going to work, um, is if you have a question, we're gonna run through a presentation um, in a moment. If you have a question, any question that occurs to you, if you can type it in the Q&A, uh, which you will find on the bottom of your computer screens, um, you can type questions as we go along. Um, Vicky is going to keep an eye on those for us. We will get to as many of the questions as we possibly can. What I will say is if uh, you type in a question and it's actually answered as part of the presentation, then we will probably um, skip over that question just to make sure that we can get an answer for any new questions that come up. We can also share um, the presentation afterwards I think that will go on the will that go on the website or will that be a vet yeah that will go on the website lovely thanks Jake um so we'll have a transcript of of the conversation and the questions as you know we're recording this as well so that would be available too and I know that any questions that aren't answered this evening um you know if we get lots of questions and we don't get to them or we don't have you know the, the whole of the answer um, Ben and Jake would be very happy to meet any of you on site um, just to discuss any of those issues if that would be helpful so that is how the evening is going to work and I'm now going to pass on to our panelists to introduce themselves I think we've got five people to introduce themselves do you want to go first Jake Hi, yes. Uh, thanks, Alex. I am Jake Smith. I'm a uh, development officer within the council's housing development team. I'm the project manager for this scheme on behalf of the council. Um, so that means I have oversight of the whole scheme, including the residential, the housing elements, the community centre, the commercial elements. We're building some uh, ca cafes and, com and commercial units at Buckingham Street and also the open space as well. Lovely, thanks. And have we got Ben with us now? Has he managed to restart his laptop? 
Um, I think he's having some technical difficulties, so um, he'll be <coughs> joining okay. us shortly. Hopefully he will be able to join us soon. Um, Alison, did you want to introduce yourself? Yes, good evening. My name's Alison Conda. I'm a strategic project manager um, and I work as part of the community services team. I've been working very closely with Hill and with Jake to make sure the community facility is designed around the needs of the user groups from the existing community centres in the area. Lovely, thanks Alison. And Daryl? Good evening, uh, my name is Daryl Diggins. I'm a senior technical coordinator for Hill. Um, I kind of manage the design from uh, start to finish, uh, taking it on from pre-planning, um, hopefully all the way to the end. Lovely, thanks. And Simon? Hi, I'm Simon McGregor. I'm the senior site manager for the um, construction side of the project. Lovely, thanks. So we've got people who can answer questions about the sort of residential units, about the open space, about the community facilities, um, any technical questions and sort of how the programme will be managed and organised. So um, that should pretty much cover all those bases. Um, I should say as well that when we get to the Q&A session, I will read the questions out and then I'll direct them to the appropriate um, uh, member of the team. Um, so that's that's how the Q&A will work. OK, are we ready to kick off with the presentation? I think, is it you first, Jake, or is it Ben first? You're muted, Jake. I think it's you, isn't it? Sorry, yes, I was muted. Um, well, it was Ben's slide next. However, obviously, he couldn't make it just yet so I will just uh, continue in lovely in thanks behalf. so yeah just to give an overview of the scheme uh, this is the meadows and Buckham project um, so we will build a, be building 106 new council rented homes these are going to be highly sustainable new homes which are gas free um, so the energy costs for the residents are going to be low hope, we hope um, the, there's going to be a 60% improvement in biodiversity across the site. So that's going to be a, from a range of planting across the um, open space, like wildflower meadows, new trees, bird boxes, bat boxes, and all sorts to kind of uh, improve the biodiversity and give the area a lift in that set, sense. Um, we are retaining 92% of the open space, and that has been through consultation with residents. Um, so they've played their part in that. Uh, we're going to be building a brand new community centre, 1,800 square metres. And if you've been on to site recently, you would see it's huge. Um, it's two storeys. It's going to have a double height um, first floor hall uh, for events and, and some recreational sports. Excuse me, skip the slide. Uh, we're going to have a lovely cafe with a, a terrace overlooking the open space. Um, there's going to be meeting rooms bookable. Um, by members of the public. Um, it's going to be a youth hall area that's going to be leased by local charities. And we've got um, preschool upstairs that's going to um, house the, the existing preschool that we have over at Buckham Street. So it's really a great role of the community that we're building here. Um, just to add to the biodiversity element, we've got, we're planting 100 new, 109 new trees, excuse me. We're also building uh, an improved multi-use games area, so known as a, a mugger or a mooga, depending on who you work for. Um, we've got a Sport England um, grade football pitch where we're going to be improving the drainage. It's going to be an excellent facility, one of the best um, publicly available pitches in the city. Uh, there's going to be a skate park, um, which is a really nice feature for the uh, local children who wish to, or adults who wish to skateboard uh, sites scooter and rollerblade etc um, we're going to have a, two new play areas so that's a, a toddler's play area near nearest the community center so it can be overlooked from the terrace by um, by parents and guardians and then a, a larger kind of more adventurous play area towards the south um, for for the slightly older children and then across the street at Buckham Street where the existing neighborhood center and the um, commercial units that I referred to earlier are uh, we are reproviding uh, said commercial units and we're also providing um, more homes over there as well. So, um, so the purpose of this meeting is kind of uh, an update um, 
and an opportunity more for you to ask your questions because of um, what happened last time we tried to hold a, a more comprehensive meeting in December where we provided an update and, and um, unfortunately that got caught, caught, cut short. So the idea of this one is to allow you to ask those questions. Um, I say this because in terms of design, there's not been much change um, to the project since then. So it's just a kind of an update as to what has happened. Um, so I'll just recap um, where we are in terms of the, the phasing um, and then show you kind of where we're at in terms of the uh, current construction. So we are still in phase two, which is encapsulated by this uh, red line here. And that includes uh, block C, which is a residential unit of 22 units. That's uh, 12 one bed flats and 10 two bed flats. Um, we also have the community center, which is outlined here. Um, and that includes the car park that will serve the community center, uh, 39 spaces, I think. Uh, and then also we have the toddler's play area. So this phase is going to be completed in autumn 2022. Uh, and then once this is completed, uh, the existing users of, uh, of the meadows and, and existing meadows and the Buckham Street Neighbourhood Centre will be moved into the new centre. Um, and then we will start to um, work on phase two, which will begin with demolition of the existing centres. Um, and then the construction of the remaining new homes. Um, so that will be completed in summer 2024. As many of you will be aware, the works to the football pitch, uh, which we had pushed back until this coming summer have commenced now as we've uh, found an opportunity to do so. Uh, and that should be finished and available to the public by autumn 2023. Um, so members of the the Harris fencing that currently surrounds it will be opened and members of the public will be able to walk on it and have casual games or, or whatever, you know, whatever kind of recreational activities you wish to do. Um, the footballing where the football activities, the, the official matches where there's going to be more wear and tear uh, will commence uh, the following season. Um, sorry, I've got my dates mixed up there. So that's, it will be open um, in, autumn 2022 and then the football will commence in autumn 2023 um, so the reason for that is because some you know casual walking over a few games is, is okay but uh, in terms of the the, the wear and tear of a official football matches where you've got uh, more of a risk to the grass we need to allow for the grass to be fully established and for the roots to take properly before um, that heavier use commences um, so once uh, I think we have autumn well once the football pitch is completed we have the multi-use games area commencing so that is winter 2023 and the reason uh, winter, yes so that's uh, winter 2023 and the reason for that is because we want to allow for the football pitch to be completed so that people can always use the multi use games area they always have a football or, or games facility um, so that that will be moving to that will be completed by uh, spring 2024 and we also have uh, the completion of the larger play area um, which will be in 2023 until 2024 and then the woodland walk uh, will be constructed from spring 2024 to summer 2024 so the whole the uh, whole site will be completed by summer 2024. That'll be useful, open to use for everyone. So just to recap those key dates, Block C, autumn 2022, 22 uh, homes then. Uh, Block D, the community centre, autumn 2022. And we're currently working closely with um, the user groups uh, who are going to be using it to familiarise them with their new centre so that they can plan ahead do whatever they need to do to make sure that um, their move into the center is as smooth as possible and we're assisting them as much as possible with that uh, football pitch complete and ready for um, official matches by autumn 2023 um, and then again beyond that the whole site will be open 
2024. So those are the key dates. Um, I'm having, it's not moving on. And just to kind of show you where we are in terms of construction on the site. So these were the photos that I shared in December. This was block C, those residential units. Um, and here is how it looks now. So that's three months, quite an impressive rate of build, I think. Well done, Simon. And uh, here is the community centre. So this is how it looked in December. And this is how it looks now. So you can see the scale of the building. You can see the full, the, uh, the full height first floor, double height first floor hall here, which is quite an impressive structure. This is the beginnings of the roof. And um, that's the lift overrun, I believe, and the vents for the cafe kitchen, which is going to be a really nice space for the community to use. Again, it shows the scale of that hall. And again, this is a nice image here, inside of the hall. It's going to be a massive open space for the community. And here we are, the football pitch. And uh, so this just shows the works that were started a few weeks ago. Um, this is the beginnings of the drainage improvement works, I believe. And this is the soak away here. Site view from December. Fortunately, we weren't able to get the same uh, drone shot for today, but Simon's been up kindly for us to take photos from the above. And this, this shot shows, it's quite nice because it shows the, the works that we're doing, but it also and the football pitch here, it also does show that we are, you know, the purpose of our phasing is to ensure that open space is available at all times. And you can see that there is a fair amount still open, still available to the public and were able to be used on a nice day such as today. Um, just to recap of the key contacts. So if anybody has any concerns um, about the day-to-day -day site construction, uh, please contact residents at um, hill.co.uk, uh, specific construction concerns related to uh, things such as noise or um, dust, for example, uh, they can speak to Nick Milne, who um, works for Building Control at the Cambridge City Council and manages the considerate constructor scheme in the city. And if you've got any concerns, it says housing development, but if you've got any concerns at all um, about the um, project, then I'd be happy to take any queries that anybody has. So um, just to recap on queries that have come in since the last meeting, uh, which is what we like to do normally. Um, so there were a couple of queries related to the football pitch. Um, people will have noticed that we harassed off the football pitch area um a few weeks ago but the drainage improvement works didn't actually start till last week i think it was um just to advise that that was because um the grass needed to be treated before it could be dug up um so it was treated so that the grass could be killed um, we are reusing some of the soil um to and we, we are going to add some topsoil on top but it, as part of the final um final pitch we don't want any existing grass or any weeds that may be lying in there um, to be relayed so that's the reason for that um, if there was a slight uh, possibly a miscommunication on our part uh, in terms of the uh, what will be happening to the football pitch we as I alluded to earlier we uh, uh, found an opportunity to engage with a contractor who was able to complete the work sooner than expected for the football pitch um, and so we were our, our aim was to um, advise people that the works would be starting in a quite a short time um, so we said that the works would be happening the purpose of the correspondence was to advise people of the dates more than what was happening um, we sent out letters to residents surrounding development we also sent emails to um, public stakeholders advising of what was happening. Um, there, was, there was a slight misunderstanding that this meant that we were scaling back the works and that we weren't, not, we weren't commencing with the drainage works anymore. Just like to uh, confirm that the drainage works will be happening, as you've seen in the last few photos. Um, 
this is going to be the same spec of pitch as we've always promised that Sport England standard. It's going to be a great pitch. It's going to have, hopefully, the drainage is going to be really good. It's not going to be waterlogged in the, in the winter. Um, and I think the um, signage notifying residents um, is possibly a learning, learning point. But we, uh, we strive to improve where possible. So thank you for that feedback. It was valuable. And now over to you guys, if anybody's got any questions. Thanks very much for that, Jake. Um, do we have any questions? I think most of the questions, Vicky, have been dealt with um, already. Questions to now have been technical questions about Zoom and the platform, so I have answered them for people. Right. Thanks. We have got a very small audience today, so we haven't got any questions. Do feel free to type your questions in the in the question and answer box. But as we've got a very small audience, we might be able to take some hands up. Great stuff. I can see one question that is open already. Um, will the um, presentation be available afterwards, Jake? Councillor Sheil is asking. Yes, of course. We'll be posting it on the usual uh channel which is our website um, and I can email it to anybody should they so wish. Jake are you able to stop sharing your screen? Yes. Okay thank you. Lovely thank you for confirming that Jake. Do we have anyone else wanting to ask any questions? Either stick your hand up or um, type in the Q&A box. Otherwise, I think we might have got off a bit lightly there. We, we've got a question with hands up from uh, Councillor Sheil. So I'm just going to allow you to ask your question live. Thanks, Vicky. Thank you so, very much. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, just, I just want to practice repeating back to you with the football pitch, would I be right in saying that there's going to be use up to and including autumn of this year, but then we must be ready for out of use from the autumn of this year to the autumn of 23. So the football pitch is currently not available for use until autumn 22 at oh. the earliest. Yes. And that, but that will be for casual use. Yes. And in autumn 2023, that's when football official football matches will resume and I apologize because I did stumble over my words a little bit when I presented that earlier so I hope that is clear now okay Jake that, that's great I'm going to say it back to you very quickly if people don't mind that casual use is fine up to um from 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 autumn yes yeah okay thank you Thanks for the question, um, Patrick. Thanks for answering that, Jake. Do we have anyone else wanting to ask a question? We've got a hands up from Councillor uh, Jenny Gawthorpe, who I'm just going to allow to talk now. Thanks, Vicky. Hello, yes, I was uh, typing it in as well, but um, really it's just to go over the timing for the move to the new community centre. Um, and that's really a question that a couple I know some of the user groups have been talking about this so uh, it might be worth reiterating that thank you is that one for you Alison or is that one for you Jake do you think um I think we'll give Daryl the program update um for people if that's okay and then just I just wanted to say that Jake Smith and I are doing the very starting to do the very detailed planning work with individual groups who currently use the existing centres um, to do that transition planning over to the new building. So that, that work's commencing now, really. Um, and then, Daryl, if you can update on the programme, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Yeah, so um, the aim is to have the community centre finished in uh, by the end of November 2022. Um, obviously, I think there'll probably be a soft start for groups um, getting used to the building and the surroundings, etc. So um, our aim as a, uh, a builder is to get it finished by 2022, uh, November 2022. 
Wonderful. Um, thank you, Jenny. Does that answer all your question? Oh, I, I think so, pretty much. Yeah. Unless yeah. Alex wanted to add anything. No, we're, we're, we're also beginning to meet with some of the key, what we call the key user groups at the existing buildings um, to do some familiarisation and orientation to the new building as well. So we've met with the early years provider Moonbeams this week um, and we'll be meeting with some of the other core user groups as well so that we can, we can familiarise them with the building and then perhaps take them on site at some point before completion um, so that they can start to get a feel for this new building. Thank you. Thanks, Alison. I think Patrick wants to ask another question. So I'm getting too many turns. I'll make it quick. Um, what is the correct way to refer to we, the other day we were all trying. It was a, a meeting where we were trying to get the right wording for the Nigel Gawthrop Concert Hall, but none of us could quite remember exactly what the full title of that sport that sport stroke music hall is going to be is it the nigel gawthrop of performing arts and sports or what is it um i think i've agreed some wording with with jenny and nick gawthrop on this um and it's i think it's the nigel gawthrop performance and arts center is that right jenny that sounds about right but again i think i'd have to check so okay thanks that's great thanks i think patrick jenny i think are those legacy hands you still got your hands up yes yeah, sorry 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 no worries do we have any other questions i can't see that i've missed anyone vicky no i've got no hands up and no live questions Okay, well, I think we can probably draw this to a close then if we don't have any further questions. Is there anything anyone else um, from the panel wants to mention that I think Jake covered most stuff? Ben, you wanted to say something. Good to see you. Yeah, sorry, sorry I was late. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. Um, just, just to reiterate, um, if anyone does have any questions afterwards, uh, you've got Jake's email. Um, we're, we're happy to meet, you know, uh, on Teams, email, letters, or in person, whatever whatever works. If there's any queries, we're we're here to engage with the community. So just wanted to reiterate that. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Ben. That's really useful. Um, okay, are we happy to stop recording then and close the meeting? Could I just give some apologies? I probably should have done this at the start. Mm -hmm. I, I know that M M Mike and Anna were trying to get in, but I think they were having technical issues. So they wanted to be with us, but I have a sense that they, they didn't manage it in the end, but they're no, with us. They're here, Patrick. Oh, they are, oh, brilliant. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're here, they're fine. Um, okay, well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you um, to all the panelists for joining us. And uh, as we said at the beginning, this the recording of this is going to be available on the website as well. OK, and enjoy the rest of your evening, everyone. Thank you. Cheers, Thank everyone. Bye-bye. Good Bye. night. Bye-bye.